Hey guys, welcome back. This is Axel Snow talking, and we're playing the Ark. Some things have happened. Some some very interesting things. I really wanted to get a certain certain dinosaur at some point, and T Dog comes around and he's like, "Hey, guess what? I got two of, male and female." And I'm like, "I don't know." And he's like, "Well, they're gigas." So we got gigas, and we only have eight minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, one minute. Oh, I'm picking that one up real quick. We only have eight minutes to go. <laughs> Glad I caught that. I was just cooking dinner. Uh, we went and we fought the Megapithecus. We fought the Broodmother. I fought the Megapithecus a few times. And this was another gift from T Dog. An enforcer. No levels on it yet, but it looks awesome. How do you do that? Yeah, like. Bam! Teleport. So T Dog has been very generous this Christmas. Pretty awesome. So eight minutes till we are ready to go. And by Sarah Traps will be logging on hopefully and we can give her one of them one of the Gigasauruses. She is not on yet. T Dog is still on. Um, I switched up my base a little bit, made this a little breeding area for the Gigas. And... T-Dog dropped off my dragon somewhere. I think it's up here. But anyways, I will come back right about when they are ready to hatch. Oh, hello, Gigas. I didn't know he left him up here. Alright, I guess he wants me to breed them. We are going to have a couple gigas. Hey, this was random chance, by the way. I just picked... Oh, yeah, no, I'm not worried about it. I mean, they're all the same level that they were bred with. It's not like you can control it. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. We all have a Giga. Mine's and plus, we're, we're all on the same tribe, so it really doesn't matter. Because, like, if I wanted to use yours, you'd be like, yeah, go for it. Just don't fucking kill it. Yeah, for sure. Well, I got the female. You got a male. Ooh, um, now we gotta wait for the third one. So, in my smithy, there are nine Gigasaurus saddles. They are up for grabs for anybody that wants them. Sarah, I'm gonna give you an egg to hatch. Uh, I think it'll look cool. Okay, what type is it? You can it's a bird. Fun. Oh. It's your very own RG, and it's bred with high levels. Yeah, and imprinting definitely does wonders. So, its uh, parents are 562 and 584. Nice. So your egg is over here. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to see my Giga. 16, 15, 14. Uh, it should. It, it's bred with some pretty cool colors, so it, I have no idea what it's going to look like. So it should be cool. One of them is the green one that you gave me, Alex. Nice. Oh, and I got, I got like a mostly red one. Oh, get back here. Where, where are you going? I got two, 261. Nice. Oh, it looks the same as mine. They all pretty much look the same. 261, alright. I got the low level one, but you got a male, I think, right? Uh, I don't know. I didn't check. I was trying to get it out of there as fast as possible. Nope, you got a female too.
Nice. Oh, mine's ready to be imprinted. Exceptional kibble. Well, that ain't gonna happen today, sir. Oh no, ours all look exceptionally different. Mine is mostly red, like the father. Yours is red and black. And then Sarah's is black and red. Wants to go on a walk with me. Alright, do this, buddy. Printing a hundred percent. All right. Whoa, calm down there. Calm down. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> Try ducking out. Can you duck out? Punch the motherfucker is what I can do. Come on. Oh, I was just going to have him follow me. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, look at all three of ours are really different looking. Oh, yeah, yours is kind of purple. Hers is kind of purplish. Mine is just like straight red, and yours is red and black. Yours looks the most badass. I'd almost rather have that one, but. Now I just gotta think of a name for her. I got nothing. Alright, we got baby mini, baby boss, and baby red dawn. <laughs> nice. Are you, are you recording, Alex? I am recording. Oh boy. I'm pretty happy about this. I got three gigas being raised. I, like, I've been searching. I've been trying to put together right, an episode. Go. Yeah, go for it. I want to get more meat. There's not more meat on my. Yeah, there's a shit ton of meat on my guy. There. Well, I'm going to go get some more if you want to throw some on mine quick. I can do that for you. But yeah, I've been trying to get an episode where I go capture a Giga, but this is almost better. I was watching a video yesterday on how to get color mutations. And everything that he said in this video is pretty much what I do already. Yeah. Yeah. No. He was like, the biggest thing is, he's like, find two that look alike. Well, I've been doing that. That's how I got Barney. Oh, God damn it! get away from the motherfucker. How are you going to get stuck? <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, can somebody help me? What's up? Are you stuck? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, what do you need for your imprinting? Uh, we have to go on a walk. Oh, okay, that's easy. Just have it follow you. I'm hey, trying. Do uh, you have a high-level dire bear? Oh, I don't have any dire bear here. Come on. Yeah. I have one what? on me. Hey, I had a really cool one yesterday. I was curious if you had one. Yeah, let's go on a walk. Actually, I came up on a bunch of cool dinosaurs yesterday. Yeah, me too, actually. I didn't capture a lot of them, but there was a lot of good-looking ones. I captured quite a few of them. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, hold on one second, I'm getting a phone call. Yep, take your time, man. Just put your thing on mute. I will. Is everything okay, Sarah? No! What's wrong? It's not coming with me! Uh, it's this one right here? Yeah! Options. Nope. Behavior. 
too low. Now try. Just walk backwards. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. There you go. It's imprinted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. What did you do to make that work? Uh, it was just at a uh, medium following. So it wasn't. It was on low. Okay. I changed it to low. I think it's targeting is on low, not it's following. Alrighty, I'm back. Sounds good. Good to have you back. I've been kind of monitoring your guys' food, and it looks like he's doing good so far. Come on, land, land dragon. Sea I dragon. really like this dino color. Yeah, that that one that one I would rock. I would rock that. You know, in the oh, next yeah, if I could breed if I could breed something like this, I would. I'd be done breeding dragons if I could make this permanent. You know, the next place that we go, we're gonna find natural wyverns, right? Nice. Like, I won't have to spawn them in. Right on. Um, but I do recommend right. uh, start breeding your utility dinos heavily to get, like, the best that you can get. Okay. I can do that. And also I just... Got a few, I got a few of them stashed away. Just a note, we're not going to be immediately able to access the arc, so we're going to be starting off basically at zero until we can reach the arc and actually get to our creatures and everything. Oh, so we can't get our stuff right away. Not right away. It'll take a little bit, but I'm sure with the skill that you have from playing this game as much as we have with all oh, three I'm sure of I can make it happen. With all three of us playing, it'll be a cinch. What I thought we could just transfer our character over, though. Like, we could still keep the same stats and stuff, can't we? Yeah, we can keep the same stats and everything, but items, everything that... Like, all items, any dinos that we're taking, everything needs to be uploaded. So, we, is there... Do they have the same thing that has, like, this? Like, the pendulums? I mean, the, uh... How does... Or the fucking obelisks? That's the word I'm looking for. Yes, it has the obelisks that we have to... We have to make it our way to the obelisks. And then we can get our stuff. So it's going to be a little, like, it's just going to be like a couple hours of us grinding like we normally would in the beginning to get some stuff. And then we can make it yeah. to the obelisk and, yeah, get all our stuff back and then run that place. And then we can go to the next place after that. I wonder... <laughs> awesome. Did you put a hat on it? No. Oh. I put a candy on it. Oh, so it's nice, cool color. Uh, it's kind of a plain, boring color. Holy tits, that's fucking health. Excuse my language. I'm gonna have to edit that one out. What's oh your... yeah, mine's got a lot of health too. What's your melee at? Uh, oh. My melee is at 4.45. These things are badass. Yeah, they're going to be strong. They're going to be big. And you know you have to keep uh, it fed, right? Yeah, I got a bunch of food on it. Okay. Where the hell's it going? <laughs> oh, it's following you. Well, it's on juvenile now, so it can eat out of a trough. Yep. You got meat in the trough? I got, like, seven different troughs with meat in them all around here. Okay. Well, we should put a bunch of meat on that pig, too, and heal that up, because it'll make it go faster. Go for it. It'll use got... less food. If you got meat yeah, on I'm the dragon. walking over there right now. Oh, Sarah, what are you up to? Just... Just chilling. Just chilling with your 
chilling with your gay. It is on juvenile now. Um, and like like he said, this are you near? No. Uh, bring your guy over a little bit towards the like where my birds are. Over by the cabin, I set up a cliff platform where I have uh, birds, where I have some of my birds hanging out. Is this thing gonna heal or what's it doing here? It's auto healing. There's enough As meat on both of mine and Sarah's for a while. Sarah, do you want to go look at your base? Because there was something that you are having a question about, and I actually went and made a few things for you. Did you? I did. I made um, the pillars that I was talking about. I made a couple, I think like 60-some or 50-some of those. Did you hatch your egg yet? Yeah. Me? No. Oh. Not yet. Oh, it's trying to fall. I think we're about to get kicked. Yep. I would agree.